everybody and welcome to The Urge Artifacts. My name is RJ and today we will be doing an unboxing video for the latest addition to the Horus Heresy series by Games Workshop, the limited edition of Warhawk. This is the sixth book in the Siege of Terra and I am super, super pumped. I literally just got it today and I can't wait to get reading this. But before I can start reading it, I need to open it up and go through the contents. Now, Warhawk is focused on the advancement of the siege, um, and by the cover that was released, um, and the title, Warhawk, is going to be centered around Jagatai Khan, uh, the Primarch of the White Scars. Now, we've seen this Khan featured in his previous two focus novels, Scars and Path of Heaven, two of my very favorites of the series. He also has a Primarch book called Warhawk of Chogaris. Uh, sorry for butchering that. Um, so it's very appropriate that this title of the siege being called Warhawk is gonna be heavily focused on him. We all know if you have read the heresy or you know the heresy lore that this is going to center around him retaking the Lionsgate spaceport. Um, so I can't wait to see how that goes down. But on the flip side of things, we have Mortarian, who is going to be featured in this one. Now, Mark Mortarian didn't get his featured novel until the very last novel in the Horus Heresy, The Buried Dagger, which focused on uh, a lot of his background, but also him falling to chaos in the warp. Um, he showed up a little bit hit here and there since the siege has started, but it's going to be really good seeing him and his legion get some uh, good screen time in this novel. I'm not a very big fan of Martarian uh, personally, um, but he looks pretty badass. And these two have met before back in Scars, where the Khan, I would say, was going to win that bas battle. It looked like uh, he was uh, on the verge of victory before Mortarian teleported the heck out of there. But regardless, we also have a ton of other characters and the continuing um, plot lines for the Siege of Terra, which I'm super excited about in this book. Um, so today, what we're gonna do is we are going to unbox the book um, open it up and we are going to go through the Dramatis Personae. We're going to go through some of the images in the book and that's about it. We're not going to spoil anything, but if you're waiting for yours and you don't want to see the character list or you don't want to see, see the internal um, artwork of the Primarchs and some of the busts that they show, then, you know, don't watch this or stop right now. Um, I'm very pumped about this because I've been collecting all the Siege novels and this is the first video I'm going to be uh, doing on one of the novels. So without further ado, let's open this up. So here we go, nice fresh in the box. Now I was told to, to use a, something a little bit cooler to open up these boxes. Somebody suggested a sword. Sword might be a little tough for this, but we are gonna use this badass knife to open up the box. Only fitting of the Urge Artifacts page. I think we are done with the knife for now. Okay, like always, we have the packaging, we have my order number. Now let's see, first thing is we do have a little uh, flyer, you know, trying to get me to sign up to warhammerplus.com. Okay, I have not signed up to that yet. Maybe in the future, um, we'll see how the streaming service gets going. But of course, they're advertising it. Now we have the box, and, box, and uh, like always, these Siege of Terror novels are very heavy. Now my number, uh, also very exciting to see. I live in the US, I don't know if that has anything to do with the numbers when you order them, but um, I seem to get in the 2000s a lot, this one being 2291, I'm assuming. So, no big deal there. Uh, one day, maybe we'll get uh, number one or something. 
uh, blacklibrary.com and the traditional black library box. All right, let's open it up. Okay, and then also, as always, we have the nice wrapping paper. And with this, you see the symbol of the white scars, the little lightning bolt. Okay, very fitting. And what we are going to do is just rip this but it person open and here we go here is warhawk okay so we have the lightning bolt um i forgot to mention earlier but this is written by chris Wright. okay i know that's very small right there chris Wright is a rock star i think cons the consensus is he's like number three bes behind the almighty damn magnet and also adb aaron dembski bowden who is wonderful as well. Um, you can see this one's pretty thick, <laughs> how we're going here. I know I got a little bit of a glare. And on the back, we have the great quote. Uh, these always really pump, pump me up. And uh, we're going to read it, and I'll read it, and then I'll give it a show. It's a very short one. This is the end. All that could have been done has been done. Every delay, every counter-strike, every anticipation, now they get in. All right, so, um, you know, I don't know exactly who is saying that, but I would imagine that is Mr. Rogeldorn, most likely. There is the quote on the back. Okay, so now I'm going to change the camera and we are going to get a little look on the inside. One last thing, as always, we have the nice gold pages. Right, so like I said, we're not gonna go too deep into it, but let's just go some quick page by page. When we get to the Dramatis Personae, um, I'll go through the list of characters, maybe point out a few that I'm excited about, and we will see what's in here. So here's the external art. There's the Khan. It looks like he's charging up to Mortarian up there, the White Scars versus the Death Guard. And here's the nice little autograph page that we always have from Chris Wright. Here's the color version of that picture. Um, pretty badass picture. You can really see the changes in Mortarian into his demon form, which is very similar to the current 40,000 form of him. Warhawk. The list of all the books up until this point. Oh, man, I remember when these were just you know, could all fit on one half page. All right, our typical intros. Okay, so now we have the interior palace um, and each one of these books, obviously the traders uh, first broke through the solar system and now they are through the final walls um, at the end of Mortis. So I am going to open this up and let's see the map. All right, here is the map and we will zoom in. So. Ooh, that's pretty, pretty neat. Very warpish. Um, devastation of the interior palace. The sky orbital plate. That's the first time we have seen one of those. So that's very interesting that it is over adamant and Europa wall. I wonder if that'll come into play. Um, Europa wall. I'm not sure. Was that the wall that Magnus kind of blew through um, in Fury of Magnus? Don't remember off the top of my head. Um, there's the Sanctum Imperialis, you know, we always, you know, we always getting talked about Blackstone pr Prison, where Keeler was, and Bacillus Foe, the Bob Bastion, the Hegemon, I mean, it's, it's getting exciting because we're going to, you know, we're getting real here, we're getting a lot closer. Um, over here is Mercury Wall, we saw that breakthrough in, in Mortis, with uh, Legio Mortis and the Titans trying to defend it. The Ultimate Gate, the Lion's Gate, these were um, heavy in the previous books. So it's nice to have some consistency with Colossi and Gordon Barr um, and all these places that we've seen in the previous books. Um, and then featured up over here is a nice picture of the spaceport. And obviously we have uh, the Khan and Mortarian just as expected up there in the pictures. And then down toward the bottom, it just looks like some more uh, 
death guard chaos type of things. So cool map. I look forward to getting to the limited edition uh, felt map of that as well, which I've been collecting. Okay, moving on from the map, the Dramatis Personae, always probably my favorite part. Um, it really gets me pumped about this. Sometimes I do read spoilers of these beforehand. So we have the Khan, Mortarian, Rogaldorn, and Sanguinius. Um, doesn't look like any other traitor Primarchs. I'm sure we'll get some features or some references, but um, the big three loyalists and Mr. Mortarian, now referred to as the Pale King. Uh, the White Scars with Shibin Khan and you know, Shivan's one, been one of those characters all the way since Scars that we followed, um, and he's been pretty cool. You know, he's, he's, I especially liked him in the events of Mortis. Uh, that was a pretty uh, determined plot line that he had. Um, some of these other guys, I remember his guys from Brotherhood of Storm, Kin Fai, uh, Ilya Ravelian. Uh, that's a great character, too. And uh, we got good old Sigismund, very good. Fafnir Ron, Archimus, all Imperial Fists, which we've been following, um, all badasses. Speaking of badasses, Karn and Scar Hell, or High. Don't know him, but obviously we all know Karn. Perhaps Sigismund versus Karn, who knows? The Death Card, good old Typhus himself. Screwed everybody over Typhus. Kaifa Morag, um, he's in a lot of the black books, I believe, as I think they, I don't know. Or maybe he's a character from the black books. Calgaro, I remember him. Not many of the Death Guards, so there's a lot more, but um, you know maybe they won't be as prominent or they'll just focus on these characters a little bit more. Typhus actually hasn't gotten a lot in the Siege overall, um, or I should say the Heresy overall. Um, compared to some of the other first captains. So, you know, give us some more Typhus, I guess, even though I hate him. Sons of Horus. I don't know any of those guys, so very interesting. They're probably going to be... <laughs> well, who knows? They'll probably be uh, killed off. Uh, Talons of the Emperor. Whoa, here we go. The big boys, Valdor, Diocletian, who we saw heavily in Master Mankind, and Amon, who has been all the way since the Blood Games, and I think that was in the first compilation in the first 10 Heresy books. So those are three very prominent um, custodies. Okay, this looks like a nice human POV group here, probably in a tank or something. Okay, we'll look forward to those guys. Imperial Arm Army, good old Katsu hero. Um, loved him so far, excited to see where he ends up. So glad to see him again in the books. The Ruins of the Palace, okay, here's uh, Basilio Foe, Euphrates Keeler, and good old Loken, who had an incredible showing in Saturnine. The Lone Wolf, very cool. Neverborn, okay, we'll see what that demon brings to the table. Ah, uh, and here we go, Erda, Litu, Acte, you know, is she, you know, who is she? You know, we all have theories. Um, you know, it makes sense if she's the blessed lady from the word bearers. Alpharius, is this Alpharius? Is this Omegon? I'm hoping it's Omegon because I feel like he should have a part to play. John Grammaticus, old person, and his crew, the Sigilite, the chosen of the Sigilite. I remember Hassan. Oh, and here we go. Everyone's favorite, the Hand of Destiny, Erebus has not shown up in the siege, so it's about time. I'm I'm very interested to see if Erebus and actually Lorgar has a part to play. All right, that's it. Now, what pictures do we get? Erda. Okay, so Erda, we I forget what book we met her in, but one of the previous ones, maybe it was Saturnine. I don't know, but we know who Erda is by now if you've read the books. Um, I really like uh, how she is gold, very similar to the Emperor. I think she's the first bust that we've seen in gold. So pretty neat there. There's Ilya Ravelian, and we had seen him in the Scars books. Or her, I, I thought she was a her actually. Okay, can't remember. Shivan Khan, okay, cool, the taxier. 
and Kaifa Morarg. Okay, so there we go. The Ekeri to Mortarian, okay? Oh, he's a little more smooth looking than uh, than I thought, but probably not so much now. Um, and that might be some rot coming in. All right, part one. That is where we're going to One see. more thing I will show is the Primark pictures. So very fitting that we have the Khan here. Uh, look at that nice horse with the lightning bolt and the Warhawk in the upper right. And ah, Lemon Russ, Lemon Russ with his two wolves and a little blood. Okay, we haven't seen him yet. So sometimes these pictures are pretty random. Like why would Russ be in this one? But who knows? Very excited. Let's go. All right, everybody, that was my uh, little preview to Warhawk, the sixth book in the Siege of Terra series. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, that was enough of a teaser for some of you guys that are waiting for your limited edition or just don't get the limited editions and maybe you want to get them uh, later on at some point. Maybe you're tempted by the eBay scalpers. Um, I am excited to get reading this. I plan on doing future unboxings of these books as part of my Horus Heresy section of the Urge Artifacts. If you'd like to see more, feel free to drop a like or give me a comment. If you want to chat a little bit of Horus Heresy on the side, I'm always game. It's a nice hobby of mine and I look forward to bringing many things in the future, um, whether it be these books, whether it be unboxing or simply reviews of other collectibles or artifacts. Otherwise, it was my pleasure going over this with you and keep on collecting and keep on having fun. Thank you.